counter length refrigerator, which means that it fits inside the cabinets uh, nice and lean and snug. It also means that I don't have a lot of room inside here. It's kind of shallow. So I have to find a way to maximize the space and make sure everything is neat and clean and organized because I do a lot of cooking and I wanna just grab things and go. So let's take a look inside and I'll show you how I keep everything organized in here. First, you wanna start by removing all the food and the shelves from the refrigerator. I take the shelves to the sink and I do a really good thorough cleaning to get off all those many months of stuck on food and stickiness. I just do a really good sanitizing of all the shelves and soap and water works just fine for this. For the inside of the refrigerator, I use a homemade solution that I make with two cups of water, a half a cup of alcohol, and a few drops of dish soap. And I use this as a all-purpose cleaner for everything in my kitchen. This is an inexpensive cleaner, but it'll clean and disinfect all the surfaces in your refrigerator. Use paper towels to dry the refrigerator and the shelves. Put the shelves back and you'll be ready to start organizing the fridge. So what I'm using to help organize my refrigerator and freezer are plastic containers. I'm using plastic shoe boxes, which you can get for a dollar anywhere, plastic bins, and different size and shapes of plastic food containers. So first, I group similar items together and put them in the plastic shoe boxes, which I'm using as refrigerator bins. These work really great because instead of having jars and bottles in the back of the fridge that I can't see or get too easily, I can just pull the whole thing out, grab what I want, and put it back in its place neatly. On the next shelf, I have my leftovers. I like to save the really sturdy plastic takeout containers because they're really great for storing food. The bottom shelf I like to keep clear. I use it for fresh food I'm about to cook or for thawing frozen food. Either way, I also keep that food in a container to be able to take it out easily and to keep the refrigerator clean. Inside my drawers, I also use containers to help organize things. This drawer is for sandwiches and snacks. I have different cheese slices and I like to have those out of the packages so that you can see and grab them easily. I have lunch meats and cheese stick snacks, all in open containers so that everything is visible. I also have the condiments in this drawer so that you have everything you need all in the same place. Now in my crisper drawer, I have everything I need to make salads. And I have all my vegetables already cleaned and stored in containers. This makes it easy for me to take everything out and place on the counter like a salad bar. I usually put a damp paper towel underneath the fresh cleaned spinach, broccoli, and lettuce to keep them crisp. And I don't close the container completely, just so there's some ventilation. I also have containers underneath with whole tomatoes and avocados. Luckily, I do have another refrigerator in the garage, so all the excess lettuce and spinach that I have, I put in that refrigerator and partially close Ziploc bags. If you don't have the extra space, you could just use Ziploc bags instead of the containers. They'll save a lot of space. The bottom shelf is where I keep my fruit. I have berries and grapes on top in sectioned containers and the whole pieces of fruit at the bottom. The end section of this container happens to fit perfectly on the lip of the bottom container. I like to display my fruit open so that everyone can see it and eat more of it. I keep my apples and bananas out on the counter for the same reason. 
Okay, so for the refrigerator door, there's nothing really unique. I have my butters up top and my eggs. I like to take everything out of the package, like I said, so the eggs are all out and displayed. I have my creams and um, some egg whites, some drinks, and I have more drinks, milk and juice. Nothing too spectacular, but it's all clean now. Now for the freezer. The freezer is pretty much the same. Containers, containers. I have containers to organize everything in the freezer. On the top shelf, I have a bin with breakfast foods. And I have frozen smoothies that I blend up and freeze in 8-ounce packages. My son likes to have a glass every morning. On the next shelf, I have a couple of bins with frozen hamburger patties, hot dogs, chicken fingers, and I have individually wrapped chicken breast pieces. On the next shelf, there's an assortment of ice cream treats that you could just pull out, grab one, put it back, and a few things my family can heat up real quick like these beef patties that they love. On the next shelf, I have cheeses. I have um, some shredded cheeses in this section container in the back, and I have some Parmesan and goat cheese and things like that in the front. Then I have a shelf with all my seafood. I have salmon and tilapia and different fish and containers and individually wrapped packages. Again, so we could just grab one if we're cooking for one person and cook it, and that's it. In the back, there are things like shrimp and crab meat and calamari, and I have those also in individually wrapped packages. So they're portioned in case you wanted to cook for one person, which I do a lot for lunch. In my drawers, I keep frozen fruits and vegetables. I usually buy fruit when it's in season and put them in the freezer bags and um, use them on my yogurt or to make smoothies. For the vegetables, I do the same. I cut them up and put them in freezer bags so I can just grab what I need. Most of my dishes call for chopped up onions, peppers, and parsley. So instead of chopping all of this, every time I cook, I take one day and chop up a whole lot and put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in a freezer. So when I'm ready to cook, I just take some out. I do the same with garlic. So I have fresh frozen zucchini, broccoli, corn, and peas in here, all in Ziploc bags and ready to cook. And that is how I keep my refrigerator and freezer clean and organized.